national news exclusive this morning. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp in South Korea seeing some of the top international threats facing the United States. So Kemp just visited the Korean demilitarized zone. He's hearing from soldiers stationed just a mile from the border of North and South Korea. It's part of a 10 day trip during which the Georgia governor will highlight major tech investments heading to the peach state. Governor Kemp is joining me live from South Korea this morning. And Governor Kemp, thank you so much for joining us on Morning in America. Uh, thanks for having me on. Good to be with you. What time is it where you are right now? It's a little after 8 p.m. So right. it's night here, morning, morning back home. There you go. Well, what are U.S. service members telling you about the tensions in the region? Are they concerned? Well, look, they're on high alert as always, but they're keeping things calm. You know, I'm just so uh, proud of the men and women we have serving there right now, but also just thankful for the sacrifices that a lot of American soldiers and Korean soldiers made uh, to really lay the situation out as it is today. I mean, we were on the front lines of democracy versus tyranny uh, and really seeing the stark differences between North and South Korea from an economic perspective, cultural perspective, uh, but also just the dangers that are associated with all of that was really eye-opening for us. And it's so important for us to continue to stand with our allies, not only for national security issues, but also economic issues, which is, you know, the big reason that we're here this week. Yeah, well, I want to get your take on exactly what's going on there, because we've seen flaring tensions between the two nations with manure and other garbage being flown into South Korea, literally from balloons and then crashing. The South is playing music over the border to attract uh, defectors. Are these actions concerning the region and also U.S. operations there? You know, I haven't seen too much concern from uh, the folks in South Korea. I mean, it's business as usual here. I think it's more just propaganda that you've seen from Kim Jong-un uh, and, and a lot of things that he's doing, whether it's miss, miss and, uh, missile test and certainly the nuclear program that is concerning for uh, many Americans and certainly for the South Koreans. But I'll tell you, from a business perspective, it's all systems go here. We've seen tremendous success working with a lot of these Korean companies in 2023 alone. We yeah. announced over $10 billion of investment and over 12,000 jobs coming to the great state of Georgia uh -huh. uh, with our Korean partners. Well, we're showing some video pictures of me when I was there actually in 2017. I went and toured the DMZ and it's just bizarre. Kind of paint the picture of what it feels like there. It's been however many years now for me. But since we live in a country where we don't have propaganda going out over speakers and things, just set the stage. What, what's it like even right there on the border? Well, it's re it really is. Uh, I mean, it's kind of an eerie feeling when you're up there and certainly when you're looking through, um, you know, magnified lenses and binoculars and other things and seeing people on the other side in North Korea and, uh, you know, saw a few people moving around, but then hearing the stories about, you know, they're planting rice fields by hand in the North and they're planting them with mechanization and tractors in the South. It shows the stark differences. People have seen the photos of uh, North Korea at night, basically blacked out South Korea, light zone and, and life as usual. Uh, and that's really what this fight's all about, is about liberty, it's about freedom and protecting those things that are so important to us as Americans. And the South Korean people share those values as well, uh, as well as our economic values. And so I think it's important uh, that we learn about these things and also know about the dangers and the threats that are out there, which is why our uh, men and women on the front lines are making us proud every day, uh, standing up for things that we believe in and for that democracy and that freedom. Certainly. What I found when I was there is the South Korean people really seem to take well to, to Americans. And they treated me very nicely while I was there. Governor Ryan Kemp, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.